Uh, how are you doing? You right? Muslim? No. Where are you from? Well, uh, London. You're from London? Where about we from London too, bro? Yeah, uh, Finsbury Park. For, you're from Algeria. You're not from London, you're from Algeria, brother. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not London. Finsbury Park is full of Algerians, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my people, a lot of them there. What's your name? Uh, Linus. Linus, nice to meet you. My name is Shamsi. Nice to meet you, Linus. How, how's everything? How are you doing today? Yeah. Good. Good? Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, don't worry, man. Don't be, man. The speaker's corner. Yeah. Welcome to the speaker's corner. Uh, do you believe in God? No. So, uh, will you listen to what I was saying? I came at the end. So, my argument was to them, yeah, was that we have something called universal knowledge. A knowledge of necessities. What do I mean by that? from our universal knowledge that we know for something to come into existence must have someone that brought it into existence. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, example, example, let me give you an example. Imagine we're standing, someone, I look there, I, I see a car. I know someone must brought a car. I don't need someone to teach me that someone brought it. Yeah. It's not there. And by reflecting, just I give the example of the car. By looking at the car, I see there is a weight, there is a structure, there is a guideline that indicates the one made the car must be knowledgeable. Correct? That, that's that's why I disagree. I think. Okay. If I don't know how to make a car, can I make a car? No. So I have to have a knowledge. Yeah. So you agree then? No, 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 no. But I don't agree that. Ah, what do you? Well, I, 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 I guess I'm, I'm pre-assuming your argument. I'm assuming that you're going to apply that to humans and life and stuff like that. No, I'm going to come to show you that something which is way simpler than ourselves. You understand? Because look, either you create yourself. Did you create yourself? No. Okay. Who created you? Uh, my mom and my dad. So your father and your mother gave you life? Yes. Okay. Let's analyze that. If it was up to them to give you a life and they had the power to give a life, how come when you die, they don't, they don't give you a life again? They cry. Uh, because that's not how... You give one person a life, but you can't. You can only really give someone life once. Yeah, but they, 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 it was not for them to give you life. Just a means, you know, because we know there's many fathers and mothers, they will have a child and it's dead. Yeah. So it's not about giving a life. You know who's giving a life? They make it clear to you. If, I, if I'm in the room and there's a lamp and there's a switch, if I turn on the switch and the light comes on, doesn't mean I create the light. I will just a means for the light to come on. Understand? Likewise, our fathers and mothers just a means. But the one gave us a life is someone else. You understand? That's why what I've mentioned to you, uh, Linus, Allah mentioned in the Quran. I'm خُلِقُ مِنْ غَيْرِ شَيْءٍ أَمْ هُمُ الْخَالِقُونَ أَمْ خَلَقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ بَلْ لَا يُقِنُونَ The meaning of the verse, would they create by nothing? Or do they create themselves? Or do they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no certainty. So let us analyze this and tell me what you think about it. I think this is where I disagree though. I, I don't necessarily think there's no God. Just that I don't agree that maybe... Or like, I don't agree that we have knowledge of this God or that. No, we, no we, uh, look, naturally, as I've said, firstly, there's two things. Yes, we, I do agree with you. We don't have the full knowledge of God. Yes, no doubt about that. Islamically, we know that. You know, Allah mentioned that. They do not encompass him with knowledge. You know the meaning of the verse. So we agree with that. But we know logically with our rationality, with our natural inclination, we can come to know this beautiful creation must have a creator. It's a logical way. We cannot escape it. Do you agree with that so far? No. Okay, so this universe which is well designed, well programmed, yes. came randomly? Yeah. Okay, that's a contradiction. No, I don't, I don't think it is a contradiction though because the okay. things that didn't work well fell apart. Defined randomly. Define what? Randomly. Randomly. Um, I suppose just by chance it happened. Yeah, define chance. Is, so can, it, it random, so something randomly happening is controlled by an individual. So if I move my hand like that, or if I'm driving a car and I go like that, it's going to turn left. Yeah. If it starts moving randomly, it starts moving when I'm not controlling it. Yeah, but okay, the car, This is that's what I'm saying. Randomly is not an entity that exists outside reality. 
randomly is an action yeah. that occurs. Yeah. The action does you basically you are it's like someone telling me, walk in, create a car. Walk is an action, it needs doer. No, I don't think the randomness created the universe. So I who's the doer? Um, well, yeah, no, it could be a god, but I don't think necessarily we have knowledge of that god. No, no, you see, you're, you're back checking, no, 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 I, I was to be honest. I think the god, okay. that god is the thing creating. I think the god may be the primary mover, but that doesn't mean necessarily god is. That, that's that, that, that's the Aristotle way we call a primary mover. Yeah. But no, we say god created. I that was created by nothing, or god created. Which one? What? I that was created by nothing, or god created it. Which um, one? Uh, I, I mean, I don't think it matters in this argument, but I'll say God, God created No, no, I want you to look, I, what I want you to do, I want you to be honest to yourself. Yeah. I don't want you to be here just we are debating for the sake of debating, yeah, okay. you know? I want to be honest because I'm not here to score points against you, because my, Islam, my, my religion teach me when I give da'wah, when I preach, I call people to Islam, I should show them humbleness, softness. I'm not trying to belittle you or just show you I'm more knowledgeable than you. Understand? I've I want seen to... those videos on YouTube where it's like atheist gets destroyed. I know, I know, the titles, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm not talking about any atheist, no. I'm talking about the stubborn ones, this, but you seem like an honest person. So the question again, either this creation was created by nothing or was created by a creator. Which one is the rational, logical way? Bro, come on, you can't think about this. I'll say a creator. Okay. Creator, bro. You know, you know, you know, uh, uh, do you know Richard Dawkins? Yeah, I know of him. I Richard, know. No, yeah, Richard Dawkins. He was debating uh, one of the Christian, uh, uh, he's not a scholar of Christianity, he's a Christian uh, scientist in uh, Oxford University. Uh, John Lennox, someone. Yeah. Anyway, he said, he himself he said, I have no problem that there is God, but he have to create as he left it. Do you know why he said that? Because he doesn't want the outcome of God controlling the creation. Because he knows the outcome of that, there's a rules to follow up. So for him to get rid of that, he just rejects God. You see, and that's why majority of time when people reject God, not because they have a logical, rational way for rejecting God, no, because they know if I accept the Creator, there is something I have to follow up after. So, for me to reject everything, let me reject the Creator. But that's worse, that's dangerous. So there is a Creator. So if this is the case, the Creator created the creation, based upon the creation, the Creator informed us in the Quran, tell us to reflect upon it. And you will come to a conclusion that the Creator must be, must be knowledgeable, must be wise. You know, you, you have a nose next to your mouth. Before you eat food, what do you do? Smell it. You have, you have, you have, you have eyebrows above your eyes. Why? Uh, two blocks wet from going into my eyes. Why? So, so everything is designed. There is a sign. There is cosmologists. But could that not be explained by evolution? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no problem. No problem. Evolution. Firstly. What came after cannot be explained by evolution. Evolution is a pure theory, you know, literally, you know. Even Richard Dawkins, because I don't want to go, I mean, no, uh, Charles Darwin, even him, he was not sure about it, to be honest. Yeah. In his, you know, Charles Darwin, in his books, is completely different when he's writing the private letters to his friends. Yeah, I've read, I've read his, yes. I've read his letters, I've read his books. Yeah, yeah, no, you should read, read his letters. Okay. How he's not sure, you know? I don't think him not being sure makes the theory any less true, no? Yeah, but someone is, the founder of the theory is not sure. It's like Prophet Muhammad is not sure about Islam. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not all over. If that was the case, we'd be all over. We'd be all over. Isn't that how the science works? You put forward a hypothesis and then that's tested. You, you can't be sure of a hypothesis. It's not really science if you're not sure. Well, if you, if you say, no, this is true, yeah. that's not very scientific. You say, I'm putting forward a hypothesis. Go out and test it. And that's that's what he did. He put forward, and he, he, was, he was wrong about a lot of things. You know I'm saying? Not that. That's why there's new uh, uh, Darwinian. But that cannot be explained by Darwinian evolution. But my point here is, look, uh, so I'm not sure about the eyes. There is a, a cosmologist, British cosmologist, Call, uh, let me get for you the name. Yeah? One second. I, I took the picture of the name. He bought, he called just six numbers. Have you heard about this book? Okay, let me get, get you the name. Yeah, he's an atheist, you know. And what is amazing, he wrote a book to prove that this creation is so beautiful and designed and programmed. If this is the case, a logic dictate must have organized a creator. You know? Well, let me get the number, the book. That's why in the Quran, always Allah utilize the, 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 the creation as a proof for its existence. Just six. Uh, or just, yeah, Martin Rees. 
Yeah, wait, look, can I take a photo of that? Yeah, I'll show you. Martin Rees, call it just six numbers. Sorry, one second. Uh, one second, bro. Yeah, Martin Rees. Uh, thank you, thank you. You know, but of course, yeah. So, so what I'm saying, they now science is moving toward, especially physics and cosmology, proving toward proving this creation must have a creator, without any doubt. That's why the creator sent the prophets and messengers to inform us about himself. Because you said you cannot have a knowledge. I agree with that. But naturally, I know that I should appreciate and I should be grateful to the one that gave me life. The one that gave me the oxygen that I, I, I breathe in. Now when the creators and the prophets and messengers, the uh, prophets and messengers, Linus, yeah, is another way, which is a logical way, to prove that Islam is a truth. For example, when God sent the prophets and messengers, did not just send them, say, you know what, claim to your prophets of God, and full stop. No, he gave them something that differentiated from the rest of the people. Before I move on, who knows the future in details? Who knows? Uh, no one. No one. Yeah. Logically speaking, the one who knows the future in details, the one who made the creation. It's the logical way. Yeah. If I made the phone from scratch, I'm the one I know about the phone better than anyone else. Any, anyone else, yes? Okay, now watch this. Prophet Muhammad, from his way to prove his prophethood, prophecies. He said, he, he spoke about people, he saw people getting punished in the hellfire. He said one of them, he makes up a lie. He makes up what? A lie. In the same morning, his lies will reach far east, far west. Linus, 1,400 years ago, that is impossible to occur. Because in order for you and I to travel from London to Cardiff, will take us three days. Let alone for my lie to spread far east, far west in the same morning. What we can do now, put a lie on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. What happened? Around the world. So how men that lived 1,400 years ago, prophesizing sp precisely, specifically, detail about something we you can observe? I don't think that's very detailed though. I think that's, that's quite a vague thing. Why, why is vague? How is vague? Well, I mean, that can like, apply to lots of things. Like, give, me uh, example that, uh, give me an example that Prophet Muhammad's lifetime, his lie was able to, someone make up a lie yeah. and is able for his lie to reach far is far west same day same morning no but i think it's, it's quite a big statement that means it can be applied to lots of different things like for applied, example well i mean the, the same logic can be applied to like telephones yeah uh, it's still same thing yeah, yeah but, but I think, still apply yeah, 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 yeah but, but i still apply I, like I, i'm confused sorry, if, you want to say yeah but i think i think if, if it was made by god why couldn't he say i don't know like oh uh, iphone wait, no no but no he thinks it's not no, 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 no way. Look, look. Because a telephone does not negate that the light will reach far as far away the same morning with the other, um, uh, what do you call it, the other means or other, other, uh, what's that, how you say? Means. Yeah, other means. Huh? Means of communication. Yeah, means of communication. The point here is, the point here is that we have to accept, prophesize it and occur, it's occurring right now. The means doesn't matter. As long that prophecy is occurring right now. Because the person might say, yeah, but he never said iPhone though. No, he he never said uh, uh, Samsung though. You're playing around now. Because why? The fact is, is it occurring? Is it happening? Uh, yeah, no, it is. Khalas, that's but I guess my question is, what if, he, if he's sent it, or if, if he's, given the notes, he's given knowledge by God, yeah, yeah. why didn't God say, do something that can be empirically tested? Say, um, the lottery numbers will be this on this day. Yeah. Like if, if, if God wanted to prove his belief without a doubt, yeah. he, he, he loves us, no? Yeah. God loves us. No, no, no. Firstly, I'm not Christian. Yeah, no, no. no God I, loves guidance to us. Yeah. For us. But God has actual, other I've attributes. Heard other yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, we don't believe God is all loving. That's it. Right. Yeah, no, no. We believe God has other attributes. But yeah, carry on. Does Sorry. God love His creation? God loves good for His creation. Um, so why wouldn't He want us to guide Him to Himself, to to paradise, to heaven, um, by giving us more precise, clear details? So let's say, let's say, you know, Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah. came down, wrote a book that said, in um, five years uh, there'll be uh, an eruption of this volcano specifically yeah now if that happens then he could prove with it without a doubt that he was sent by and God and you think because of that if I believe in him yes that's not true there is a scientist physicist from Oxford University he's known to be atheist he said if I'm looking at the sky 
and the stars start writing, writing. Oh, Peter, believe in me. He said, I will think I'm crazy. You know what Allah said in the Quran? What are you doing? This call uh, an argument. You try to dictate something. Firstly, deal with the prophecy. You cannot tell me this and that. I'll give you, you know the prophecy that you mentioned or the example. I'll give you more powerful than that. Prophet Muhammad said to the Muslims, you will overpower the Persians and the Romans. That's specific now. The Persian and the Romans, the Byzantine, yeah? When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that Linus, yeah? He was in Mecca and he was scared for his life. His companions, they were scared for their life. They don't have even the power to fight back only the people of Mecca, let alone the whole Arabs. And he said to his followers, you will take over the Byzantine and the Persians, yeah? Even some people start mocking him. They say this guy claiming they will overpower such and such a state and we, we, we can't even fight back. Historically, is known from Muslim sources, non-Muslim sources, the time of the, the companions, Abu Bakr and Omar, the Muslim defeated the Persians and the Romans. Is that specific? Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah. Are you going to become Muslim now? Uh, yeah, how do I sign up? No, I'm <laughs> Oh, sign up. But you just told me if something specific you accept. Yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. I, I'm going to have to do more research. No problem at all, man. Yeah, no. Nice talking to you, brother. You can take my number if you have any question. You know? I'll come back next week. No problem. The live debate, so. uh, here, here, let me give you something to read. Uh, one second. I'm going to give you something for you. Yeah, this is the best one, to be honest, that I have. But you can check the website. Oh, here, let me give you something. You can check the website. Uh, you can check this website, check them yeah, if you need. Take photo, uh, take photo, yeah, please. Yeah. But you just proved my point. I just proved to him a prophet and he doesn't want to become Muslim. <laughs> you see? Wait, do you want this one back? Yeah, this one, thank you very much. Take care of yourself, yeah? You know, I'm going to go here, yeah? Hi, dear brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Quran says, Inna alayna lal huda wa inna lana lal akhirat. Satu al ula, yeah. Hadayat is not in your head or in my head. Barakallah, Fik. Wallahi, Shu. Where is upon us to convey the message? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing, man? You're good, yeah? Alhamdulillah. But you know, subhanallah. You see, you know, Allah is in the Quran. Even if we send down the book,